subject matter that we will talk about and going to talk about now, and that is in terms of first of all the foam. Are we all we're all in in, oh, in agreements with the foam, aren't we? Loved it. I was, I was, I was, <laughs> Love the foam. I was at Wembley at a Charity Shield. I saw it first time in my own eyes. I think it's excellent. It's brilliant. Excellent, <laughs> excellent idea. Especially like. You know, I said, make sure you go your 10 yards, mark, have a little marker. But you, you still see players inching the way. No, no. Yeah, but that's inches compared no, no, to what it used to be yards, no, no. didn't Actually, it? Actually, at the weekend in the era of the Niche, between um, when Ajax played Den Haag, the, basically the referee, um, he basically tried to use his value shoe spray and he, he ran out of foam. <laughs> so oh, he, had, he, had, he had a little little dot and then when um, he wasn't looking, one of the, fine, one of the Ajax players basically like um, <laughs> basically um, put his foot we, we, in we are we will have them um, on the, on the yeah. phone tomorrow just obviously because Luton were playing tonight it's a bit, a bit congested the other the other question I think uh, to, I think everyone's in agreement with that and the phone yeah benefit to everyone um, yeah. the question of video replays and the question being should officials um, presumably managers huh. have a um, decision to make during the game in the first half and the second half and be given one uh, sort of permission if you like to go sorry about that we don't agree with that can I have a look at that I actually really like the idea I, I, I saw it well. I, I saw always it advocated it myself oh, why not move on other sports do it cricket do it yeah. they have to review the, the LBW review system don't they we have I think they, rugby snip, they have snip nom- nometer I saw, I saw it in action in the Commonwealth Games yeah. in, the, in the hockey match yeah. so I saw, and it worked very well no, no disruption to the plane or no, and it helps referees as well. Yeah, we get so. Well, the goal, the goal line clearance has obviously worked, even though the replay in the World Cup made it made it laughable for a few seconds, but yeah. it worked. Yeah. Yeah. It worked, yeah. In terms of the one decision, I think personally, how cheated. Do you know, I mean, things like Thierry Henry when he handballed against Ireland, Maradona, if you like, things like that. Oh, if we had video replays now. Um, for contentious decisions like that, they would never happen. And we're not, we're not maybe talk, not happen, but because we're not talking about three out. or four decisions in a game. We're talking about one in each half. So if you you, you know a penalty has been given, or um, you know you know a wrong player has been sent off, as in the case of Arsenal last year, you can refer that, Jonathan. Yeah, you can. You can. It's, uh, hold on a second, Jonathan. I think it's, it's very. I think it will be very beneficial to to the game, and I, om- I pretty much don't understand the resistance to it. Everyone's saying, you know, technology bad for the game. We shouldn't add this in, but it really doesn't disrupt the flow, it's, and it's proven in other sports as yeah, well. Yeah, but they would argue that it stops the flow of the game, and then it will lead. Once you allow one in each half, then you go to two or three. It will end up American football style, where they stop, start, stop, start. No, because you I just need a couple. That. I think you only use it for flash points in the game. So only after the referees actually made a decision, so the referee's gone. That's a penalty then you can challenge that because I think there's so there's so much fuss anyway when a pet when there's a handball whether there's a foul you normally get like 30 to 40 seconds and broadcasting so savvy now it's so quick you can get that decision incredibly quickly and one of the biggest concerns like I was talking um, to a few mates before before we came on one of them was saying oh you know we just won't have any talking points anymore we won't have anything to debate about but some of it's so subjective even when even when we do have th- those replays of that tackle, that handball, yeah. it's still going to be like, hang on, come sure. on, you can't give that. It's still going to be that. And there's always, and the other way of looking at it, we can actually focus on the better things in football. Yeah. Goals, yeah. brilliant I think, performances. Kenny, I, I think you're on the right. I'll tell you a great point. The other day, you talk, your, your mate's talking about what we're going to talk about, but seriously, the last thing you want to talk about is the referee. He's, he, he, sh- he should be seen and not heard. There's so much else uh, to talk about. And, <laughs> and, and, and basically, the, the situation in terms of... Referees like, have got better, though, over the last I think they, I've been a professional now, and it's like a full, full-time job, so they have got, got a lot better. But my, my argument in terms of the new technology, let's embrace it. Or, if tr- trouble with football is that football does not like change. They're so reluctant to have any, any change because they think everything's... Well, far behind bit. cricket, for example, yeah. where you think cricket would have been far behind football. Yeah. Cricket have had um, replays on LBWs yeah. and, and camera... Um, and run as well. Yeah, and you can't do that at every level, but you don't see people going absolutely crazy about that. We're just... I think we're well, Do you buy the argument that they it? say, well, if we took that away, it takes out the... the, the Point of discussion. You have nothing to talk about. They do it in rugby, but they still talk about it. Yeah, I no, can't there'll, see. there'll be plenty of points. And um, because you still point. would question whether they made the right decision yeah. when he went to video replay. Sure. Yeah. And uh, well, my mates who are Liverpool fans will watch a video replay and swear blind that uh, that's the ref, ref was still correct or you know a decision that will favour Liverpool. Mm. But you, you're right. The bottom line is is that 
the game, the game is fast enough anyway. And even if you have this technology, people, referees aren't a human. They're still going to make mistakes. They're still going, and you're still going to have a lot to talk about. Don't. So don't worry about that. Yeah, and there's, and there's one more thing about video technology. You're not, you're not going to get a 360 degree view of, uh, of everything. Another thing as well, it's about, it's about this as well. There's so much at stake now. Like, every, every, like in terms of at the end of the season, it's positions as well. Like, you get prize and, money for what Okay, you very quickly, because we're going to go to a break. How, Howard Webb has um, uh, retired or, or, or obviously given up now. He's going to be working with, actually, Dermot, in uh, expert insight into contentious decisions. Yes. <laughs> which, which, which obviously... Well, he's made means they're going to go, what, go back and, 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 and watch these contentious decisions and uh, reprimand refs, do you think? Well, we feel Howard Webb, you know, like, you know, it's a bit of a, a free, 360 turnaround. I mean, I thought that after, um, I thought, you know, that after um, he's done his referees, that he'd go back to his job at South Yorkshire Police. Obviously, um, you know, catching criminals in Sheffield and Rotherham is not, <laughs> oh. it's not good enough for him now. You know, I mean, you know, like I said, we've had enough. He's had his head turned. You know, there's, there's a few you know, problems in Rotherham and Sheffield. I'm going to have to shut you up now for a minute. You know what I mean?